What's up, everybody? Me again. I'm gonna try to start playing RuneScape. I've never played this game before. I'm not gonna do a long intro, so here we go. I'm getting right into it. The controls are weird. I'm not used to this whole moving with your with your mouse thing. So what I'm trying to do, but okay. God, this is weird. Is this as choppy for you guys it is, as it is for me? Okay, I gotta talk to the Master Chef. Welcome, newcomer. I am the Master Chef Lev. I will teach you how to cook food truly fit for a king. I already know how to cook. Brian just taught me. Ha. Huh. You call that cooking? You're much more likely to burn your food if you cook on a log fire out in the open. You should cook on a range whenever you can. Now I'm going to teach you the fine art of baking bread. Gives you an empty bucket and a pot of flour. Fill the bucket with water from the sink, then use it to wet the flour into dough, then make the dough into bread on my range. Okay. Use bucket. I get I get some of the mechanics, but a lot of this is really weird. Okay. Hooray! I did a thing! Check on something real quick. Still good. Oh, there's nothing like the smell of freshly baked bread. Be sure to carry a little food with you on your adventures. If you're injured in combat, eating is the best way to feel better. There are all sorts of food you can cook with the right ingredients and a high enough cooking skill. Pies, cakes, stews. You can even churn cream and butter to brew your own mead. Or, or brew your own mead. <laughs> like using cream and butter. Okay, uh, open the door, go to the next area. Follow the path to the home of the quest guide. Like, seriously, this is... Just zoom out really, really far. This is going to be a very awkward game for me, by the way. Okay, talk to the quest guide. Ah, welcome, adventurer. I'm here to yell... Oh... <laughs> I'm here to tell you about quests. Let's start by opening the quest list. A quest name is red if you have not started it. When you start a quest, it's changed to yellow and it's in progress, and green when you've completed the quest. To find the start of a quest, look for the quest icon on your mini-map. Usually start the quest by talking to someone nearby. <sighs> What's all this then? Oh, oh, oh. I want to see what, go what happens when I go down the ladder. Uh, 
I don't know. Um, For the start of quest, look for the quest icon. What is this quest icon thing? Okay, I do not have access. Yeah, I, I get that. I've... What quest icon? I understand so little. Oh, what the heck, let's go down. I don't care about learning. Let's just jump in this already. Yeah, you're... You're confusing me, bud. I... Mining instructor. Greetings, my name is Desic. I am the m I am a miner by trade. On either side of me are rocks containing tin and copper ore. Mine two tin ore and two copper ore. We're going to smelt and smith a melee weapon for you. Okay. And I get some mining XP too, so that's cool. Oh look! Tin ore! Come on, give me one more. I hate how nothing seems to stack in this game. Your inventory just fills like that. Ooh. I don't know why, but I like that one. Um, but I'm gonna just stick with the basics for now, so... Ooh. Pardon me. Okay, so that bar right there fills up whenever I'm about to collect an ore. Let's let's have a look at all this. Okay, so I can't do anything yet. Uh, good. You show the mining instructor the tin ore and copper ore you mined. Great work. The better p the pickaxe you use, the faster you'll mine. Also, the better pickaxe, the higher mining level you require to re to wield it. So, why do I want to mine ore? You can use your smithing skills to smelt ore into metal bars at a furnace, and then an anvil. You then at an anvil, you'll smith the bars into melee weapons and armor worn by warriors. You can smelt tin and copper together to make bronze equipment. Simply deposit the ores into a furnace, forge your anvil, then use the furnace to smelt them into a bar of metal. Pardon me. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I 
Now I have bronze bars. Now I go back and talk to the instructor again. And yes, I'm going through the tutorial because I've never played, so... So how do I make a weapon out of a bronze bar? When you use an anvil, you choose the item you want to smith, as long as you have a high enough smithing level. And the correct number of bars. <sighs> I'm skipping some of this. Let's, uh... Bronze Dagger, begin project. I've never really tried any game like this before. This control scheme is going to take some real getting used to. Ooh, the combat instructor. Uh, to me, you're just another newcomer who thinks they're ready to fight. I'm Vanaka, the greatest swordsman alive. You'll do barely any damage with your bare hands. Let's start by wielding that butter knife you're carrying. <laughs> now you're ready for combat. Attack a rat. You'll continue to fight each other until it's dead or you do something else. Sounds promising. Uh, let's attack that one. Eh? I should have... <laughs> nah, I shouldn't, actually. Uh, well done, you defeated your first monster. There's a lot more to combat, including the ranged and magic skills. You'll learn about them when you get to the mainland. For now, you've finished in this cave. Return to the surface and continue on your journey. Talk to financial advisor. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm getting a little bored. Money is useful because no, 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 no. I need to. I need money is useful. No, I'm not good at voices. Money is useful because you can buy items from the Grand Exchange if you don't want to craft them yourself. Gold coins are the currency of the human kingdom. Your coins are kept in a coin pouch below the items in your backpack. You currently have zero coins. There are three basic ways to make money. Skilling, combat, and training. Some people have work for an adventurer like you and will reward you for completing quests. My enemies will drop items... Many enemies will drop items when they die. You can sell them to a general store or on the Grand Exchange in Varrock. By getting a high level in skills such as cooking, mining, smithing, and fishing, you can create or gather your own items and sell them for pure profit. You can only carry so many items in your backpack. You can deposit items you want to keep and not sell into your bank. You can access your bank from a bank booth or bank chest. Look at the bank icon. Look for the bank icon on your mini map or world map. <sighs> what do I? Oh, another door. 
course. Because every area has a door. For some reason. The prayer instructor. <laughs> Jeez, they're going to teach us how to how to eat next? I mean, they've already taught, taught us how to cook. They haven't taught us how to eat. So, I mean, what do we do? Good day, brother. My name's... I, I'm not going to say my name on here out loud. <laughs> Hello. I'm Brother Brace. I'm here to tell you about prayer. This is your prayer list. Prayers boost your effectiveness in combat as you increase in level. You uh, increase your level in the prayer skill. You unlock more prayers. Click the prayer you wish to use to activate it. Click it again to deactivate it. Pick up and bury bones. Are there rules to how I should behave? Yes, in general, always try to be courteous to others. Remember that adventurers like yourself are real people with real feelings. If you go around being abusive or causing trouble, you could end up in trouble. I'll keep that in mind. And here we are, once again, off on adventure. Uh, let's just do this the easy way. I don't... Ooh, hang on. This music is something. Good day, newcomer. Your journey is nearly at its end. My name is Tarova. Before you leave for the mainland, I'm going to tell you a little about magic. Let's start by opening your spellbook. This is a list of your spells. Casting spells increases your magic skill and consumes runes which you carry in your backpack. You create runes by rune with the rune crafting skill. With low level magic, you can cast only the simplest spells, such as airstrike. You must wield a magic weapon to cast combat spells. You'll begin your adventure in Berthorp, in the kingdom of Asgarnia. The Berthorp Imperial Guard need an adventurer like yourself to defend their principality from trolls invading from the north. I'm going to deactivate the protective spells around this island so you can home teleport to Berthorp using the Lodestone Network. If you ever get lost, you can freely teleport to a Lodestone you have discovered. Oh, it doesn't cost anything. That's cool. Guess I'm going to Berthorp. Oh, that's weird. The teleportation thing is weird. Uh, ooh, a little bit of a video glitch there. I guess I'm probably overloading my PC right now. There's the lodestone. Path complete. Tutorial island. Welcome to... Whoa! Where am I going? What am I doing? Hello, and what are you after then? Adventure. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm a Slayer Master. I train adventurers to seek out and defeat specific monsters. I'll identify suitable targets and assign you a quota. Berthorp is surrounded by dangerous creatures. Are you eager to battle monsters for fun, heroism, and profit? Then Slayer is the skill for you. Trolls are the real enemy in Vorthorp, but you'll need food and armor to survive against them. You should prepare before risking your life in combat. This is the last adventure... Er, they sent me. He fought the trolls without armor or food. Don't be him. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, in combat, you'll need to eat to live. Rabbits are a good source of food, and they make cute noise when they die. <laughs> Go kill some bunnies. 
bunnies are cute. Uh, tell me about the trolls. Ugh, farewell. Um. Okay. Uh. I think I'm gonna stop here for this one. Um. Thanks for tuning in. Love you.